Okay. Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Jennifer. I graduated from Full Stack Academy, and I'm currently a teaching fellow here, as most of you know, if not all of you. I'm pretty sure all of you know. <laughs> and since I enjoyed being a student so much, um, I decided as part of my fellow thesis to tell the story of a student's time here at Full Stack using scroll effects. So let me lead you to journey.fullstackacademy.com, which is what you're seeing on the screen right now, and walk you through the story. So we start at the top of the page, uh, where you see our cute little progress bar here at the bottom. Um, the books that she's sitting on will stack as the story goes along. So as we scroll down, here's the inception of the idea that our character, uh, let's call her Jay, when she wants to become a developer and she decides to go to full stack. So then we move on to her application process. Here she's filling out the application for full stack. And after applying, she's invited to take an online assessment. And because she does so well on the assessment, she's invited to do a Skype interview with Huntley to further assess her abilities. And after passing all the obstacles, she got into full stack academy. So moving on here, uh, we're going into the foundations course. So, whoa, it's doing something weird. Hold on. Why is this doing it? Is it still doing it? So Foundations is pretty much a JavaScript fundamentals program in itself. And students get remote instruction by watching videos and have one-on-one -on -one tutoring sessions with the instructional staff via Screen Hero. Uh, Jay, is, is, as seen here, is working in bed on her JavaScript. And in the week before um, the on-campus portion of the course starts, students visit the campus to meet one another and enjoy some ice cream. And now we move on to the junior phase, which is six weeks long. So a normal day for students in the junior phase is that they get a lecture in the morning. We see our instructor, Joe, here teaching data structures. And students apply what they learn in lectures with pair programming workshops. So after the junior phase in which they learn parts of the stack and other relevant technologies, students have a week to breathe and review what they've learned. So here um, you see Jay taking assessments to uh, review and work on the parts that she needs more attention on, like parts of the stack. And because she did her work in junior phase, she excelled in her assessments so she gets to relax a bit and get, get her tan on. Students also will go to hackathons during review phase. And full stack students, as a matter of fact, have won over 23 hackathons and still counting. So after the students are all charged and ready, they move on to the senior phase. Yay! <laughs> and in the senior phase, um, Students put all they've learned into practice and work in group projects. And every morning during the senior phase, they get to practice potential technical interview questions on the whiteboards around campus. And at the end of senior phase, we get hiring day. So here, Jay is presenting her capstone project to the potential interviewers. And after the presentations, they get a chance to interview with the in employers in a round robin style. And after all this, 
She graduates. OK. But wait, we're not done yet. After graduation, they go through a program that's called Full Stack Flight, in which they get job support from our awesome team. Shout out to Shauna and Liz here. And she lands a job. Yay. <laughs> Jay, as seen here, has gotten her dream job and is super happy and lived happily ever after. And here, we get a link that leads us to the application for full stack. And at the very bottom, um, this links to our source code for this uh, page, as well as like credits. So, that was a story, and now tell you a little bit about how I made it. So let's get out of here, and I'll show you some code. Um, considering the budget restraint of the project, uh, all the graphics you saw, actually, I'll go back to it, were um, actually purchased from Shutterstock, and well, with the exception of the full stack logo. But uh, we actually customized the images to our liking by hiring an external uh, freelance designer. And I actually did some of the images myself. Um, I completed this project using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. And because this is only um, a single page, I didn't actually need to use any front end frameworks such as Angular. So I basically just used um, jQuery scroll magic and this thing called Greensock tweening engine. Um, I did use Browserify and for modularity and Gulp and other stuff to help make my life easier as a developer. So let me show you a bit of my code. These are actually um, some of the functions that I've abstracted to um, they're customized utility functions that I use, abstracted using the libraries to handle how the components animate and interact. And I use them to code each scene individually because almost every scene behaves differently. So yeah, this is pretty much it. And hope you liked it. Thank you. Thank you.